Hello and welcome to this video playing Vermantonio and we'll try C3, C4 rather. So answered by C5. So it looks like we're going to get the copycat game at the moment. So I'm going to play D4 now. And push d5 if necessary. Alright. I'm just going to get some sort of Maroxy bind thing going here. And. Knight takes c4. We'll just play queen takes c4. Okay, so he's going for this tempo on the queen. So just have to decide where the best place to put the queen is. Queen e3 and d2 both block the bishop, so I think probably queen d queen d3 is best. And then in in the long term what we want to do is get the rook to the d file and put a lot of pressure on the d6. So this feels like a waste of a move really. Um not a waste of a move, but you know, not the best plan really. So it looks like Blatt's getting out of the diagonal, maybe trying to play b5, but don't think that's going to be possible. I think we can maybe play now bishop e3, and that comes with a tempo because we're hitting a7, so that's good. Okay, so b6, and what about playing e5 now to push that knight back and maybe expand with f4? Where's the knight going to go actually? It's not many squares it can go to, so I quite like this idea possibly push on with f4 or oh, we might be able to play bishop to ah didn't think about that one um okay think maybe here could think about bishop f4 doesn't feel quite right though so ah um just losing the e pawn here I only just noticed that. That's silly. So, yeah, okay, missed that. Um, let's see. Is there anything we can do about this? So, we've got a choice of which to capture. I think if we take this one. At least there are some weak squares around Black's King. So let's double on the D file now, so that okay, that's fine. And what can we do now? Knight e4, knight. I think let's just play rook e1, and then we'll maybe try and play something like knight to d5. I think we have some compensation for the lost pawn. So. jump in here now. We're hitting e7. Okay, so what's the best way to recapture? We can recapture with the bishop um, or with the pawn. I think if we play c takes, we're blocking in our own bishop. Um, but on the other hand, it does put a bit of a clamp on the e pawn, so I think this might be slightly better. Okay, so black takes the open file. Now queen h4 hits the e pawn, so let's try that. And if f6, we might be able to play something like rook e6. Rook e6. I think f6 doesn't feel right, so maybe black has to play rook e8 here. We may be able to play something like queen h6 and then push with the h pawn. What other options has black got? I mean, I don't think we can't really push this. So I think he really has to play this. Okay, so he did play this, which I think. 
doesn't feel great really so I'm gonna just stick a rook in there and then maybe something like Queen E4 okay so Queen E4 now or maybe B4 straight away to push this rook away Queen e4 hits e7, so we're getting that with tempo. And this covers the c2 square so that we might be able to push the rook away. Um, okay. Wow. So I put my queen. Uh, <laughs> put my queen. I think he meant to take my queen. I just blundered my queen, I think, and he's missed it. So there we go. Stuff happens. Blitz. I think I think I just put my queen. Let's just check that. I know he just took this. Okay, so I didn't put my queen on freeze at all. He just took it when it wasn't really available to take. Okay, so that's fine. Um, all right, so we should have this in the bag now, so to speak. What's our plan? Just double up on the... I mean, we're a piece up now. Uh, one, two, three, what, five pawns versus one, two, three, four, five... Oh, Black's got a lot of pawns actually for this piece. So it was a blunder, but it's um, it's worked out okay. So let's play this. And then after rook e8, I think something like h3, bishop h3, king h2, this kind of thing. Um, okay, so let's play this. We may be able to just push h5 straight away, actually. Okay, I think we can just play that move because I don't think you really want to take this. So if g5, then bishop h3 now. And something like h6 check, king takes h6, rook takes f6 check, and then win the queen. That's a nice little idea. So that's what we'll go for in the absence of something better. All right, so that doesn't do much, I don't think. Well, let's see. Can we can we play rook takes c7, rook takes c7, rook takes c7? Not so easily. Not so easily. I'm um, down to a minute now, so we need to speed up a bit. <sighs> okay. Let's play bishop f5 to pr put pressure on h7. And if h6, then I think bishop g6 is coming. And that forces the rook off the 7th. And that means we get to take on e7 with check. So this is looking promising now. OK, so let's just take this with the rook. And let's take this h7 pawn. And we don't want to. Okay, bishop here. Okay. h7. Okay, I'm going to take this with check. And I think bishop f5 and rook d7 is the right way. So he's making that more difficult. Now just queen. OK. Um, we're going to try and play rook d7 check. Um, still can't quite get that in. e4. <laughs> putting up a strong resistance. f5 hanging. Whew. 
Oof, and a win on time with a winning position. Okay, thanks very much for watching.